Handbags of Gebekli Tepe, vulture stone, what are they? A new theory. There has been a lot of conjecture regarding the so-called handbags of Pillar 43, the vulture stone of Gebekli Tepe, the Anatolian site dated to 9000 to 8000 BC at least. Because other ancient images depict deities and fish people carrying similarly shaped objects, there has been an idea these also must represent these mysterious handbags or whatever items they may be carrying. I, however, have another theory as to what they actually depict. Please bear with me as it requires a little bit of background. Now, firstly, while similar to the handbags, the Gebekli images aren't actually symmetrical. The arch actually sits to one side. Secondly, there are animals besides them, which could suggest they are actually large objects. It is hard to tell to what degree, if any, actual proportion between the various components on this stele exist. However, on some of the tea stones, such as the humanoid wearing what may be a belt and loincloth, and the net falling onto a wild animal, proportion may actually be possible. Thirdly, we note that these handbags are closely packed together. Okay, so to get to my point of what I think they could actually represent, and please bear with me a little bit longer, let's have a look at the surrounding structures. Archaeologist Ian Hodder, who has studied not only Gebekli Tepe, but the slightly less ancient site of Shuttle Huyuk, which existed from approximately 7,500 BC to 5,700 BC, a huge Neolithic settlement about 600 kilometres from Gebekli Tepe, which housed 5,000 to 8,000 people, notes that there are many similarities between both sites. Similar interest with and adornment of wild animals, bears, bulls, birds, and headless human bodies, as well as voluptuous female figures. We also have the link of how these complexes were built. We can see at both sites that buildings were all clustered together and there weren't actually any streets. Excavations have shown that entrance to dwellings was gained by walking across roofs and climbing through openings in the roof down a ladder to get inside. The openings were always above the oven, so these also must have acted as a chimney too. Upon this information, I think it could be likely these handbag shapes actually depict dwellings. The arches represent the entrance structures, which covered the opening into the interior. Alternatively, because the inhabitants were so used to rooftops, they could even be overhead bird's eye views of houses or structures. So that's my point and theory on what the handbags actually are. Houses or dwellings, or a representation of a town. Another theory that might even be better than the dwelling theory is that they could very well be ovens. They do, after all, have animals depicted beside each shape. And we know with great certainty that ritual feasting was a central component of these early societies and of the buildings themselves. The main excavator of Gebekli Tepe, Klaus Schmidt, for instance, found large amounts of butchered animal bones from animals such as deer, gazelle, pigs, geese, and other animals. Given the amount of animal remains found at these sites and the design of the ovens found, other than the dwelling theory, I believe the oven theory may be the best and most likely theory thus far to explain the so-called handbags. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Bye.